Welcome to today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite five axis options called Contact Point. This powerful option can save you time trying to figure out that perfect side tilt angle and give you precise control on where your tool contacts your surface. By being able to control this contact point, you can use a specific part of your tool that has a larger radius allowing you to reduce your step overs and improve your surface finish. Let's get started with some examples. For our first example, let's look at an operation using a 3 8 ball end mill. This tool path uses a morph between two curves strategy with a 0 0.1 inch step over. Under the tool axis control tab, you can see that our side tilt is defined traditionally using a set angle. Let's change this to use contact point. Here you can see several options have changed. With this, we can choose how we want to define our point. I like to use by line parameter. Here you can see a graphic explaining the line parameter option. With this, you can choose which section of the tool to look at. These options will change depending on what type of tool you have chosen. For this ball mill, I will use tip radius. Line parameter is used to determine your specific contact point. Here you can enter a number between 0 and 1. Let's redo this operation and have a look at the tool sim. As you can see, our tool is in contact with the surface right at the 0.7 line parameter that we set in our process. Let's open up operation two. This op uses a tangent end mill with a 3.375 inch barrel radius and an 80 thou tip radius. With this tool, you can see we have the option of using the barrel as our profile section. On this tool, the barrel section starts here and ends here. I set the line parameter to 0.5 and also enabled the 2 option and set that to 0. This will gradually shift the contact point from 0.5 to 0 as the tool path goes down the surface. Let's take a look at the tool sim. As you can see, at the start of the toolpath, our contact point is at the 0.5 line parameter. As we get down towards the bottom, you can see the contact point shift towards 0. For our last example, let's open up Operation 3 and Tool 4. This tool is called a convex tip, or sometimes referred to as a lens form tool. The tool has half inch diameter and has a one inch radius on the bottom, great for finishing floors. For our profile options, we have the convex tip selected and a line parameter of 0.5. Convex tip refers to the section starting here and ending right here. Let's take a look at the tool sim. Again, we can see our tool touching the surface at the contact point we defined in our process. And there we have it. Contact point is yet another example of how easy and powerful GibbsCam is when it comes to multi-axis programming. If you would like to know more about the contact point option or 5-axis, please reach out to your local GibbsCam reseller. 